Hi, Mark Rogerson here. Today I want to go through quickly what I think is the first step when you're looking to buy a business, and that is what is it that you're actually buying? Now, that might seem like an obvious question, um, but it's the first step, and, and in most cases it goes down an obvious route, but it's just a thought provoker and something to have a think about. So, so you're looking to buy a business, this is in Australia, and we're looking to buy a company. Um, you've got really two main options to buy that business. The first one is that you come in and you become the shareholder. So, so you actually buy the shares off the vendor, off the person who's selling that entity. Um, and that's a real consideration. And what people often don't think about is they're buying the shares you, and you're buying the entity or the business entity, you're buying the whole history of that entity. So you're buying, um, basically buying any problems that come up in the past. So sure, you buy the entity, you buy the business and the assets and the goodwill and all the stuff within that entity. Uh, you're buying the name, the ABN, uh, the, uh, the tax file number, etc. cetera. Everything um, uh, comes, it's almost like a takeover. Effectively, you're buying the shares off the shareholders. Uh, that, that's, that's, um, that's not a common way that, that companies are purchased in Australia or businesses are purchased in Australia. Um, and the main reason is because you've got so much history with that entity that you don't know. Um, uh, there could be tax tax things come out of the woodwork. There, there could be issues with um, uh, with previous employees, etc. So most business purchases in Australia will happen where you actually buy from the entity or from the company or the, the the other business structure, you buy the assets and the the IP and the goodwill um, from that structure, and you put it in your own structure. So there'll be effectively um, something else set up over here, which is yours, and it will pick up from here and jump into there. And this entity here is usually a fresh entity; it hasn't done any trading before. It's been established purely for uh, this purchase. So that's that's sort of the most common way that people buy a business in Australia. Um, um, like I said, an uncommon way is where you actually come in and take over the entity, but in some cases you can't avoid that um, for a whole lot of reasons. One could be that, that the entity has specific supply or contract agreements attached to it, and that's where a lot of the value is in the entity. Hope that helps, thanks very much.